Welcome to EDO Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will see an example of finding centroid in center and excenter of a triangle. In this question, it is given that the coordinates of the midpoint of the sides of a triangle are this, this and this. And we have to find out the centroid and in center from the midpoints of the triangle. So firstly, we will assume that let P, Q, and R be the midpoints of side AB, BC and CA respectively of triangle ABC. Let a whose coordinates are x1, y1, b whose coordinates are x2, y2 and c whose coordinates are x3, y3 be the vertices of triangle A, B, C. Then as we know that p is the midpoint of AB. So by using the midpoint formula we have x1 plus x2 divided by 2 will be equal to 1 that is its value of x and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 will be equal to 1. So we get x1 plus x2 is equal to 2 by cross multiplying and y1 plus y2 is equal to 2. Equate this equation as first equation. Also, q is the midpoint of bc which therefore x2 plus x3 divided by 2 will be equal to 2 that is its value of abscissa and y2 plus y3 divided by 2 will be equal to its ordinate that is minus 3. On solving these two equations we get x2 plus x3 is equal to 4 by cross multiplying and y2 plus y3 is equal to minus 6 also by cross multiplying. This is second equation. In the same way R is the midpoint of AC so also applying midpoint formula over here also we get x1 plus x3 divided by 2 is will be equal to 3 and y1 plus y3 divided by 2 will be equal to 4. So on solving these two equations we get x1 plus x3 is equal to 6 and y1 plus y3 is equal to 8. Let us equate this equation as equation 3. Now from first, second and third equation we have that is adding these equations we get. x1 plus x2 plus x2 plus x3 plus x1 plus x3 will be equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6. Similarly, y1 plus y2 plus y2 plus y3 plus y1 plus y3 is equal to 2 minus 6 plus 8. So which implies that x1 plus x2 plus x3 will be equal to 6 by solving this equation and y1 plus y2 plus y3 is equal to 2. Equate this equation as equation 4. So from first and fourth equation we get 
That is first equation is x1 plus x2 is equal to 2. And this is x1 plus x2 plus x3. So, uh, solving these two equations, that is by subtracting, we get x3 plus 2 is equal to 6. And 2 plus y3 is equal to 2. So, we get for the x3 is equal to 4 and y3 is equal to 0. So, the coordinate of C are 4 and 0. Similarly, from 2nd and 4th, we get x1 plus 4 is equal to 6 and y1 minus 6 is equal to 2. So we get x1 is equal to 2 and y1 is equal to 8. So the coordinates of A are 2 and 8. From equation third and fourth we have x2 plus 6 is equal to 6 and y2 plus 8 is equal to 2. So we get x2 is equal to 0 and y2 is equal to minus 6. So the coordinates of d are 0 and minus 6. Now we have to find out the centroid and in center by using this coordinate. So firstly we will calculate centroid. Formula of centroid is or coordinates of centroid can be find out x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 which will be equal to x1 is 2 x2 is 0 and x3 is 4 divided by 3 which we get 8 by 3 and y will be equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 y1 is 8 and y2 is minus 6 and y3 is 0 divided by 3 what we get 2 by 3 so the centroid of triangle and coordinates of centroid of triangles are 8 by 3 and 2 by 3. Now let us find out in center. For calculating in center, we need the length of side. So, first we will calculate the length of side. That is, A will be equal to BC. By applying distance formula, we get 4 minus 0 whole square plus 0 plus 6 whole square, which will be equal to root 52 is equal to 2 root 30. In the same way we will get B which will be equal to AC that is applying the formula of distance we will get 4 minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 8 whole square is equal to root 68 which will be equal to 2 root 17. In the same way we can get the coordinate of sorry length of the C that is length of side a, B by using the distance formula again which will be 2 minus 0 whole square plus 8 plus 6 whole square which will be equal to under root of 200 which we get 10 root. Now the coordinates of the in center of triangle a, B, C, R, A, X1 plus B, X2 plus C, X3 divided by A plus B plus C and A, Y1 plus B, Y2 plus C, Y3 divided by A plus B plus C. Now, which will, which implies that now putting the values of all this down, we get 2 root 3 into 2 plus 2 root 17 into 0 plus 10 root 2 into 4 divided by 2 root 
थर्टीन प्लस टू रूट सेवनटीन प्लस टेन रूट टू एंड एज टू रूट थर्टीन इंटू एट प्लस टू रूट सेवनटीन इंटू माइनस सिक्स प्लस टेन रूट टू इंटू जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय टू रूट थर्टीन प्लस टू रूट सेवनटीन प्लस टेन रूट टू ना सॉल्व आफ्टर सॉल्विंग वी गेट टू रूट थर्टीन प्लस ट्वेंटी रूट टू डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थर्टीन प्लस रूट सेवनटीन प्लस फाइव टू टू हियर ऑल्सो वी गेट एट रूट थर्टीन माइनस सिक्स रूट सेवनटीन डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थर्टीन प्लस रूट सेवनटीन प्लस फाइव रूट टू सो दीज आर दॉर्डिनेट ऑफ इंसेंट ऑफ ट्राइंगल नाउ लेट अस सी द समरी ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल थ्रू ए गिवन फिगर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन दैट देर इज ए ट्राइंगल ए बी सी whose coordinates are x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 and y3 and the midpoint of these sides are given suppose c is the midpoint of ab and its coordinates are given as 1 and 1 and q is the midpoint of bc and whose coordinates are 2 and minus 3 Similarly, R is the midpoint of AC, whose coordinates are given as C and 4. From the midpoints, we have to calculate the or find out the coordinates of the these sides. And after finding the coordinates, we have to calculate the centroid and in center. So to calculate the finding the coordinates of centroid and in center, we need the coordinates of its sides. so as we know that the formula of midpoint is x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 so apply this formula on each side we form three uh, equations and after adding three equations we formulate one common equation in that equation we get the terms in the form x1 x2 and x3 and y1 plus y2 and y3 this equation we Made as fourth equation. After forming this equation fourth, with the help of this equation and taking one by one equation, we find out the coordinates of each each point. So after finding out the coordinates, we apply the formula of centroid and in center and find out the coordinates of the centroid and in center in this 